As we get closer to winter feeding season this year, with the uh, prolonged drought in many areas of the state, one of our big concerns with some of our winter feed sources this year are high nitrate feeds. Typically we see these levels higher in feeds such as cane hay or sorghum, sedan hay, as well as oat hay, uh, wheat hay, a lot of these uh, alternative feeds that we're seeing quite a bit of this year. So one of the options that we really encourage producers to do this time of year is to sample those forages and make sure our nitrate levels are within reasonable levels. What I have with me this morning are a couple of different hay probes. Again, it's important to consider using a hay probe because we don't only want just a sampling from the outside of the bale. We also want to core into the middle of the bale to get a better representation of what's in the bale. These can be available either through your county extension office or also through uh, most local feed stores or local co-ops. A lot of these have available to sample your bales and we encourage you to sample at least 10 bales uh, in each field so you have a good idea of what your overall nitrate level is if you're concerned. So in this case we'll aim towards the center of the bale. We'll twist the drill and working in towards the middle of the bale we'll uh, get a sample from in the bale. And then you can remove that bale. The idea of the, the hollow tube in the middle then collects the core sample. Then you can either take just a simple Ziploc bag. This one in, in this case is from a uh, local feed laboratory where you can uh, put on exactly where the bale came from, what field it's associated with, and you need again about 10 samples per field to get a good estimate. So then you take that core sample, dump it into the middle of the uh, bag, again add all your additional samples into that bag. So we have our sample here, would encourage you to put your name and address as well as the field where it came from, whatever type of labeling you need, and send it off to either your commercial lab or the Wyoming State Forage Testing Laboratory. Once you have that information back, one of the key measurements in that uh, information, uh, you'll not only get protein and energy levels, but you'll get your nitrate level. And that's expressed in several different ways. And there's always an explanation sheet on your analysis that you get back. But our, our uh, recommendations are that any feed under 3,000 parts per million nitrate is typically a, a very safe feed to feed to our livestock. Nitrate levels that are between 3,000 to 6,000 parts per million are what we would consider somewhat uh, uh, a little more risky and probably we need to consider doing some additional feed management whether it's blending with other feeds or feeding uh, with uh, on a more limited basis. Any sample that has over 9,000 parts per million we are very concerned about, uh, very high nitrates, and that can cause some nitrate toxicity in your, in your livestock. Some of the symptoms that you can see with cattle that are on high nitrates are the cattle will begin to slobber and drool and, and breathe very rapidly. Uh, and you'll notice that at first, sometimes if we fed to pregnant animals, you will see some abortions associated with nitrate toxicity. And so when you see this type of a thing, remove that feed as quickly as you can and consult your veterinarian. There are some additional management tools. Cattle will adapt to nitrate feeds. So if you adjust them slowly over a long period of time, you can uh, increase the safety of feeding nitrates. Also by feeding some additional grain, you can also increase the safety of feeding this. And by grinding and mixing with other feeds is another way of, of improving the safety of feeding high nitrate feeds. So if you have any concerns, please sample that bale, uh, send it into your lab and consult with your extension educator or your veterinarian to make sure you're managing correctly. With the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Steve Paisley.